Paul Lytle Insurance Agency is proud to present another episode of Is That Covered? The show that looks at outrageous situations and tries to determine what an insurance adjuster would do if deciding coverage. The aliens came, and at first, all they did was put their ships above major cities of the world. They made no attempt at contact. Why had they come? Did they wish us harm or good? Could they be trusted? Oh, of course, we had seen the trailer for the movie, and we knew what would happen next. But the poor souls in the film itself did not have the luxury of that. They waited, and they wondered. Some even went to the tops of buildings to welcome the little green men from outer space. And then, then it happened. The ships opened up. And proceeded to destroy everything, as we knew they must. The remaining humans gathered to make their stand against the aliens. But as insurance professionals, we care very little about what happens after the destruction. Our job is in the destruction itself. Welcome to another episode of Is That Covered? You know, we were talking about uh, Independence Day the, the other day, of course, with the new movie coming out, which I haven't seen yet. Um, but kind of got us talking about this uh, this particular topic. Do you remember when that movie came out? Um, probably, the original probably Independence too, Day? Probably too young to really have paid attention. Um, no, but about that time, I was not too young, but I don't remember because I'm old now. <sighs> Well, I was, uh, I was, I think, a senior in high school and had a job, so I had a little bit of pocket money, and I think I saw that movie in the theaters probably five or six times. Wow. Uh, but that, you know, um, even today, we, uh, I, I found a cheap Blu-ray copy of, of the movie a couple of years ago at a Kroger, and I was like, well, you know, it's about a price. We might as well check it out. And... Uh, I did not think it was going to be it was going to hold up very well, uh, but it really did. I, you know, normally the special effects driven movies just aren't as good ten, fifteen years later. True. But uh, I, I, I still really enjoyed this one. It was a nice, uh, nice film, Re uh, action packed, and got the blood pumping, and you came out uh, glad to be an American. Absolutely. All right, but let's take talk about what happens in the movie because. Um, the aliens uh, come, settle down over the big cities, uh, over uh, the landmarks, and um, you know we're trying to figure out what's going to happen. And um, and oh, you know what's going to happen? Oh yeah, well we we saw the preview, <laughs> saw the White House explode, and it's generally a good indication that aliens are not here to make peace. But in this particular case, um, they do proceed to blow up all the major cities and there's some uh, several several extended scenes of um, the wall of fire coming through and just pretty much wiping everything out cars being thrown into the air come crashing down then the rest of the movie proceeds I'm not you know if, if you haven't watched this then uh, well I don't know why you're watching this video though, so but by the end of the movie, we drive the aliens back. Um, assumedly, we're going to go rebuild everything. And I'm sure, I am absolutely positive, knowing people the way I do, that someone is going to call up their local insurance company yes. and make a claim. My car was blown up in an alien attack. And I want to file a claim. How do you think that claim is about is going to come out for him? No, it is not going to be covered. It's not going to end well for that claim because that is not something that you can cover. Alien attacks, um, it's not somebody rear ending you or sideswiping you. So, no, I don't believe it would no. be covered. Now, to be fair though, there is nothing in any policy that I've seen that says. We will not cover alien invasion. Right. So the policy is not going to have the wording of alien attack. But we will have to go to the U.S. government to define 
what type of accident it is. And they're going to come up with what do you think? Yeah, this is uh, this is very going to be very clearly declared an act of war, and um, and uh, that is that is a common exclusion in the policy. Um, you know, very simply, when if something like this happens, uh, the insurance companies we're we're not designed to cover every single car in a city that gets blown to smithereens. It's just uh, that's not the, what insurance is designed to do. So that is excluded. And even if it's not declared uh, an act of war, um, most insurance uh, most insurance policies do exclude like um, nuclear discharge or radiation. When I, I don't think that the mechanics of the alien weapon uh, were really explained, but something tells me that it's going to include some sort of nuclear reaction or radiation. Yes. Based on the way that explosion looked, I would have to agree. Yeah. Since we determined the act of war or, or radiation is going to be excluded, what about aliens that come down to the United States and uh, go for a joyride around and with reckless abandon start bumping in the vehicles. Yeah, so if aliens drunk flying the flying saucer around gets a little too close to your, your Ford Explorer. Yeah. Um, so more than likely, uh, more than likely that would be covered under a comprehensive claim. And, and comprehensive is also called other than collision. Um, when we're talking about collision, we're talking about, you know, you hitting things that are on the ground and not always, uh, you know, unidentified flying objects. Um, this is not going to be really a technical point as far as the policy. It's just a word of uh, word of advice from an insurance professional to you. If this happens to you, don't, don't tell the insurance company that an alien got drunk and hit you with their flying saucer. Um, just just stick with the, I'm not sure what that was that hit me. Uh, I think that, by and large, is going to go better for you. I don't necessarily think that the claim would be denied if you mentioned the drunk alien, but I'm pretty sure that that story will get around the claims office and um, you will be mercilessly made fun of uh, for some time. If you're going to risk to be ridiculed by saying it was a drunk alien, would that fall under uninsured motorists since the drunk alien, I'm pretty sure, does not have a Texas driver's license mm -hmm. or any driver's license yeah. and is, by definition, uninsured? Well, you know, I mean, that's going to come, come down to, um, you know, what kind of alien insurance they have. And this is all speculation, of course, but I imagine that the alien insurance is going to have an exclusion for ramming into human vehicles, uh, much like you know, most of uh, uh, most of us running into aliens would probably be excluded in some way or another. Um, and so, uh, in that case, if the alien UFO does have insurance, um, I, you, you know, we're probably going to get a denial from the alien insurance company on that. Um, and so. Then the question at that point is uh, whether he has, he has no insurance or it's a denied, will that fall under uninsured? And no, it wouldn't. Uninsured motorist, um, the, the operative term in this case is also motorist. Um, this is when a vehicle hits you that is uninsured or has a coverage denial for some reason. Um, not other things that are uninsured. And uh, so, so no, the the uninsured motorist would not come into play at this point. Which, when we're in the world of speculation, we, uh, having not, and you haven't seen the new Independence Day, right? No, I haven't. Okay, so at this point, neither I nor you have any idea what kind of government rose up out of the ashes of what happened in the first movie. Right. Now, it could have just been, you know, well, we reformed America as best we could, or it may have been just some sort of giant one-world government um, type thing. 
Uh, let's just speculate, though, that after said alien attack, a bunch of stuff gets wiped out. We, we drive them back, form one giant world government. And um, they're now having completely different rules. Um, would there be able to, uh, to be a claim made um, you know, for somebody who lost a car or something in that, in that attack, uh, seeing as how all the old rules have been tossed out and new rules put into place? Um, there probably would be. I guess it would depend on uh, your political views and what type of president would be in the office to just fund the insurance industry to replace every single person's vehicle that was destroyed. That'd be awkward. But I'm, they may have augmented the alien's insurance to where if you get coverage on his alien being, it does extend to other countries or other planets. So, like, there's some insurance for, uh, you know, if you do survive the alien attack, we'll kind of make you whole after we blow up your city? Yeah, or if um, the alien comes down, maybe they have to make a pit stop to um, a satellite agency that they have on Earth, maybe buried or something, and uh, register there saying, hey, this is what we're going to do. We're going to commence the... Uh, invasion yeah. and um, well you know I mean that that is a normal part of their society right. and so they probably do have have some sort of mechanics put in place for you know something goes wrong uh, yeah. possibly not to you know put the world to right but you know uh, to compensate the families the lost alien life insurance that sort of thing yeah, it's very important to have a local agent long story short uh, I think an all-out alien attack, I think we agree. You're probably not going to be covered with the things that you've lost in an all-out alien attack. Uh, if you are one of those poor souls that um, just uh, become victimized by the, by the random alien flyby and have some vehicle damage based on that, uh, we do encourage you to turn that in and have a licensed adjuster take a look at the claim. Uh, just be aware. Uh, that if you speculate on all the things you think just happened, that um, you might get your car fixed, but you also uh, might uh, become a oft-repeated story in the office place. Till next time, we'll see you later.